eight-year-old Lily is an energetic child from the south of France. But she hasn't always been so comfortable in her own skin. Lily was assigned as a boy at birth. Last year, she went through a bout of depression. It escalated from bad to worse. Every night, without fail, she would tell me a list of ways she could die. One night, she finally managed to tell us why she felt her life was so worthless and what she'd like to do to make it worth living. For us, it was a huge relief. At least we know now what makes her feel this way, so we'll do everything to make her feel better. The first step for the family was to make their daughter's school accept her new name, a battle they won last September, making Lily's academic experience less painful. <laughs> Lily's family and friends had no trouble embracing her new name, and now teachers have followed suit. It was an important step for the eight-year-old, but not enough to make all her worries disappear. Sometimes at night she gets a major case of the blues, because for her, the situation is unfair. So we're here to help and show her that her difference is beautiful. <laughs> to find more information and advice, Christelle and Guillaume turn to a local LGBT charity. Here, volunteers organize support groups and share contact details of medical professionals. Children are extremely isolated in their trans experience, but parents often don't know where to find information. Parents ask if they should listen to their children, as it's not always what medical professionals recommend. Rights activists accuse some health professionals of not always taking transgender identities seriously. There's a form of denial. It's not by denying the existence of trans people that they'll cease to exist. They're a reality. I think it's important to say there are trans children. One can be trans at a very young age. And there are possibilities to help them. Psychiatrist Serge Fs works at the PTSL Petrière Hospital's Family Therapy Unit. It's one of the few clinics in France that helps children suffering from gender dysphoria, a discrepancy felt between a person's assigned sex and their gender identity. FS helps teens to transition, but wants to make sure they do it at their own pace. Kids, children who are very young and feel like they have been misgendered, won't necessarily end up embarking on a transgender journey. However, young teens, 13, 14-year-olds, those who are distraught by the changes in their bodies, they are most likely at the start of a true trans journey. It means they're going to want to take hormones, surgically modify their bodies to reflect what they feel inside. For his younger patients, FS says puberty blockers can be a temporary solution. The chemical postpones the effects of puberty, giving preteens extra time to figure out their personal trans journeys. For the psychiatrist, every individual should strive to find their own way of being their true selves, without the influence of social media or the internet. They're asking themselves questions, and all of a sudden they're in contact with a dozen other teens who are going to say, well, I did this, I took this drug, I saw this surgeon, my life's been transformed, it's amazing. I think we have to be wary of all that, as it gives them points of reference that might not be their own. I believe they should have time to reflect. And for that, support from loved ones is crucial, according to sociologist Emmanuel Bobati. A 2014 study found that 40% of transgender people have lost contact with a member of their family. For every child who goes to a consultation with his or her parents, parents who have accepted their child's choice, there are maybe 10, 20, 30, 100 whose parents will never go with them. They'll have to wait until they're emancipated to be able to go through any procedures. Transitioning isn't just about a medical transition. People often boil it down to a medical procedure, but in reality, it's most of all a social change. With the full support of her family, Lily has already started her transformation. The next step for the eight-year-old, change her name in official documents. Her parents are in the midst of a legal battle for the state to accept the modification.